So establish the identity, make the left like the right. So I can break this up into sine two theta sine, oops, excuse me. And then cosine theta plus sine theta, cosine two theta, or oops, cosine theta. Oh no, cosine two theta, all right, sorry. Um, and then I just break this down again, so this becomes sine theta, uh, actually it's just two sine theta, cosine theta, cosine theta, um, plus sine theta, and then here I get um, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. All right, um, so this becomes two sine theta cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta sine theta minus sine cubed theta. So I add these two together, it becomes three sine theta. Oh no, that's not right. I can factor out a cosine, so I get um, cosine squared theta times two sine theta plus sine theta minus sine cubed theta. So I'll keep doing this. So this cosine squared can be remade to be one, oops, one minus sine squared theta. So I'll just, I don't even realize it. Um, oh well, so that's just three sine theta. Well, that makes things easier. <laughs> uh, minus sine cubed theta. Okay, uh, this becomes three sine theta minus three sine cubed theta minus sine cubed theta. Hey, that works out, that's exactly what we need. So if you watch this, if you, the only thing you gotta combine is are these two now, and your final solution ends up being um, three sine theta minus four sine cubed theta. All right, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.